Hi, it's Esther and I'm here again for another episode of Exploring Creativity because you need it. I need it. Let's look into what's happening and how creativity is happening. Anyway, I hope you're well. Um, I'm glad to see that you have made it here. And um, this week we're going to be looking at, a, oh, well, let me tell you first, exploring creativity, if you've never been here before, is when I take about uh, five, ten minutes, it's usually ten-ish, um, to speak about a piece of art that I have made and a little bit of the stuff that goes around it to give you a bit of, um, or give us a bit of um, exploration in that area to dig around into something that's really ephemeral um, and not always valued. Creativity, if there's not a monetary source on it, you know, uh, can you churn it out? It, creativity is something else. So here we go. Um, I'm doing my part to get it out there and find out other people who are getting it out there. So I, this week I have chosen to do small interchangeables. It's a print series I worked on in 2020. And let's uh, turn you around so that you can see it and we will look at it. This week will be a little bit different. I'll tell you why. Um, I'm gonna turn you around. Uh, if you've watched this before, you might know. Oh, you're kind of close to me. Ooh. Um, although you could probably hear better. Um, if you have been here before, you know that when I flip you around, um, sometimes it stops. So just jig it a little bit and then you can see lots of little cute prints. Oh, and one of the reasons I'm doing these small interchangeables is because recently people have been wanting them to go live at their house, i.e. buy them, which is great and it's lovely to have them out there and it's lovely for, it's lovely for me. Um, and you can find more of them on my website. Check it out, estersharrow.com. Don't miss it. But anyway, let's take a look at what we are talking about. Oh, there's the flowers. It's not the flowers. The flowers were from Auntie. The Auntie who decided that the niece needed flowers. Yes, aren't they pretty? Pretty flowers. Pretty flowers. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so here is, I'll give you a bit of a bird's eye view. Okay, so it's a group, a bunch of, almost like cards, like they're playing cards or something. Like a, what is it, be like a tarot card. Yeah, here you are. There's the fool. There's art. There's la mage, the ma magician. Okay, so, but let's talk a little bit specifically about these because within this group there are a lot of things that I work on regularly and this is a little bit different because they're they're all out there I'm letting you see bunches of them and not all of them but a lot of them piles of them uh, so let's look at them, a few of them a little bit closer um, I'm gonna grab my little paper where I realize what I might have noted okay so within this grouping there were um, Six plaques, six plates, six metal plates, five metal plates, something like that. And then there were these a little bit of plastic ones too that you could work with. Um, so it was just about getting a plate to do things. Like this is a sugar technique where you make rounds and you make this space. And that could be interesting. You would look at it as movement, look at it as you know, weight and gravity. You can look at it in all sorts of different ways. Thin, thick, what's happening around here. And that's interesting. It could be interesting just on its own. But I'm here, I'm alive, and I want to see what else I can do with it. So we mucked around and here, let me, let me just grab a few that are also of that nature. We have one, two, three and here's another one where I've used that that piece okay and here all right so if we go up higher you can see the four of them okay and you've got the base here's one plaque okay but then let's look at this one this one we can start with this one but I'm gonna tell you that I don't have with me at this time 
the plaque that is the underbelly of this, which was also a sugar technique. This is a double sugar. And then it's like what comes through, what stays behind, the light on the dark, the dark on the light. This one is dark on light, I will tell you. We've got some dark on light and the rounds. We're playing with a lot of rounds here, making it go. Okay, so we already know about him, her. And if we bring it over to this one, okay, so we can compare them even. It looks similar because we're also using the same plate, but now it's flipped around. We've got another piece going on behind it. And in fact, what color, I don't know how well you can see the color. I hope the light's good enough. Let me see if I can get some better light. Although it's daylight now. Spring has sprung and we've got light. So we've got now again two plates. The original being that. You can see that on the dark. But then we've pulled in, let me find her, let me find her. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. This. So we mix them up. We mix it up and here it's like this. But then, hello, let's mix it up even more. Why do we mix it up? Because this is life, huh? Isn't it? So here we have a third mix up. Voila, and let's bring in the light better on this one. So you can see, you can see the little organized bits. You can see the melting stainy bits. And now what we've done is we've put the dark one behind, brought through the Japanese paper, and then a further sanguine uh, element on top of it. You can read in all these things where you get a little bit of space and within the space there's clarity. Clarity. Anybody out there looking for some clarity? What else is happening? What do you see? I mean, it kind of melts, but then it's clear. So let's look closer. Let's take a moment to look closer. Here. There we go. It's coming up. It's fire. It's movement. It's upward. Unless you turn it upside down, and then it's downward, and it's compression. Let's do it. Let's turn it down upside down. There it is. I'm sure that's printed somewhere on one of these. I'm sure there's an upside down bit. Don't know where. Don't know where. There's round. Round with precision. We like it round. Organic. Biomorphic. And then it comes down to here. It's the same thing, but a little bit different. We've put... This, how different is it? These things change. That's why it's like a playing. It's a, an experimentation. It's like, and to what end? Where are you going? Where are you going with this? It's that existential working to what ends, to what means. That's what, that's what this whole creativity exploration is. Why? <laughs> what? And how pretty can we make it along the way? Let's make it good. I don't know. I could talk about it. You know, I like the negative space. I like layers. Well, I like, I like. What does that mean? It's an exploration of figuring out layers, layers, life, time, over time, things happening over time, human connections, erosion of rocks, burrowing in. Let's see, this one is interesting because, okay, we've got that again. And we've got that again, but it's like the same thing. In fact, here you go, let's see. They're like the same thing, but they're not. They've got that little funny connection thing happening, but I believe there is a piece of Japanese paper in here. I believe this one is like, it would be the red on, uh, red, it's totally not red. It's like some rusty sanguine color, but it's behind. And then the dark comes above. Now we put the dark at the bottom put a piece of Japanese paper in and put the sanguine on top. Um, we, I, you know, just, is it just aesthetics? You know, which one do you prefer? I guess that would be a poll. 
hey, I'm going to put these two up, and then you choose which one you like. Um, I think it's interesting when they're connected, like what is happening between the two of them. You can see these really like, it looks like stain. And actually there's another one here, if I can find it, which is this one, but like just a bit darker. No, that's a lot darker. Let's see. If I can find it, I'll show it to you. Of course. Um, there it is. Look at it. It's funny. Here. Here we go. We'll put it there. Ah, this could almost be a triptych. It's interesting. Here we go. Actually, we're going to put it... Here's the three of them. Hmm? All three. Boom. Boom. And yet... Hey, Mike. How are you? Good to see you. So we're looking at the small prints. And we're looking at the element of difference. Like, it's, it's different, but it's not different. I think with printmaking, if you're like really on top of it, you're supposed to be like precision. But I don't actually find that very interesting. I like the fault and error that's happening in the precision. So I couldn't tell you why these are different. It's probably just wiping ink off of a plate like this is a bit brighter and this is a bit lower. You, you may not even be able to see that in Facebook land. Ah, bonjour, mode. J'espère que tu vas bien. C'est bien te voir. But um, this is, um, it's just that element of difference. Because um, with printmaking, ideally, all your newspapers look the same. But um, that's, unfortunately, as an art maker, I'm not very good at disciplining to make it look. Here, here's one. I, I kind of like this awkwardness. It's like on top of itself. Here, standing out in the crowd. So this is, again, it's two pieces. One piece, it's one piece. Just like the Naruto one piece, not that Japanese anime. But um, it's, it's again the layering. Something is behind and something is coming up. Things bubble to the surface, you get clarity. You know, it's figuring it out again and again and again. Anyway, if you're interested in seeing more here, this one. Oh, wait, let's see. I'm such a long goodbye kind of girl. Because I was going through, I every so often like to use words as marks when I find some words interesting. And um, this one I like. This one, let's see. Because sometimes the words have to do with my work. And so again, we've got the that same form. The form. The form. Here we go. Let's, let's remind you. Woo! The same form. Using that form. Yeah, that is that form. But then we've got the words which say, the beginning that has no end. The beginning that has no end. Um, you know, throwing it out there. You do with it what you want. Some might say it's a Cohen. Some might say it's a chicken and an egg. Here's the chicken and the egg. It's the same as the beginning that has no end. Um, yes, and there was the blue one we were looking at. up here and again you see you see the melding you see that and you see that and that and that it's all a bit of a here I'm gonna pull you back up I think you get the idea you can have simplicity, you can have complicated onions like um, Shrek, you can have Shrek that are almost like that. Oh, look, at Bill has showed up, but Bill, we're gonna have to sign off on you, sweetie. It's good to see you. Look at, hey, of course, long goodbyes. Let's mess around with the colors. And let's see what happens. Here we go, woohoo, who likes yellow? Here we go, it's the poll again. Who likes bread? Who likes orange? Who likes them all in a little wrapper of Easter candy? Passover's over. Eat that pizza. Eat the pizza. Say goodbye to the cute little, they're so cute. Aren't they cute? 
Okay, they're little. We have big ones, large interchangeables. But tonight, tonight it's about the small interchangeables. Anyway, I hope you all are well and have had a great Passover and are about to have a fabulous Easter. And here in Paris, we're about to have even more confinement than we knew what to do with. Again, aren't you uh, glad you're not doing that elsewhere? We get to walk around with notes. Permission slips to walk outside. Yes. Yes, but actually that's after seven o'clock, seven o'clock. Um, you can read all about that. I can't keep track of all the confinements, but I know that my kid is going to be home from school. Woohoo! fun. So if you have any great ideas about that, keep me posted. Anyway, take it easy. Thanks for joining for another episode of Exploring Creativity. And um, don't forget, all this stuff is on my website. There's also clothing on my website. Yeah, a link to buy wearable art and a link on the website that allows you to get to my YouTube, a YouTube channel that has all my exploring creativity because you just might need to binge watch, huh? Binge watch some exploring creativity. I don't know, make me a video. Explore some creativity, make it, send it to me. I'd love it. Explore some creativity. Take it easy, stay healthy, enjoy, eat lots of chocolate, even no matter what religion you are. We'll see you maybe next week, maybe the week after, but maybe next week around the same time for a similar Exploring Creativity. Stay healthy, lots of love. Ciao.